Well, that was complicated and fun, wasn't it? <laughs> it was unbelievable. Oh, so, here's the table. Let me talk through go. that first, just to confirm everything for you. Argentina go through as uh, group winners, uh, ensuring they will play Australia in the last 16 on Saturday, who brilliantly qualified earlier today. Uh, that late goal for Saudi Arabia means that Poland finish above Mexico, as I've just said, on goal difference now, rather than the fair play ranking. Uh, all of which means Poland will play France in the next round on Sunday. Um, <laughs> well, where do we start? Shall I take a breath? <laughs> As we said, it would liven up. Yeah. Things yeah, would it did. It got, it got a lot better, and Argentina were better in the second half. Yeah. They moved the ball uh, a lot quicker, uh, got the victory they deserved, could have scored, should have scored another two or three. Yeah. But Poland have got their goalkeeper to thank Chesney for, yeah. uh, for, for oh. getting them through to the next round because he was magnificent yeah, tonight. He was. He made some great saves, including a penalty and the, and the one at the end where he just got a hand to before it was cleared off the line. Yeah. Happy? Uh, yes, through. <laughs> winning, <laughs> winning the group. Now, Australia yes, in the next well round. Done. You will see me around in Qatar for a few more days. <laughs> well, that's good because you're great company, Pablo. I have to say, you are a smashing um, company. Yeah, but I, I think that was uh, Argentina's best performance so far in this tournament. And this is more what we expected from that team uh, before the World this Cup. This is the Copa America team we saw in uh, second exactly. half, wasn't it? Exactly. And, and, and it helps to some of those players who didn't start in this World Cup. You know, Enzo yeah. Fernandez, uh, yeah. Julian Alvarez, uh, some of those players yeah. who've been involved in goals mm. and, and all that. So that's great to see. I think Scaloni now, it seems like he found the best probably yeah. starting eleven. So hopefully we can see. Uh, and we got yeah. a great draw, you know, against Australia. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the round of 16, which is uh, good. Did you enjoy that, Rio? It's fun at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. You know, we didn't know what was coming or going at the end there. But, um, no, <laughs> we'll I try mean, and keep on top of it and working it yeah, all out. I think Poland were poor today. They, 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 yeah, they were. They need to improve if they're going to go anywhere in this. I don't, don't see them really going past this stage. But they've done well to get where they are. I think Lewandowski was starved of any good service. Yeah. But for me, I've got to be honest, you come in here, I was just pleased I could come to the stadium just to watch Messi yeah, at a yeah. World Cup. And, and he produced a couple of moments in this. We'll yeah. look at, I'm sure, later on that you just go, whoa. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Um, mm. It was um, Brian's McAllister who's yeah. um, uh, scored the first important goal just after half time. Pablo, yeah. you went to the bathroom, you missed it. I know, yeah, <laughs> I was probably thinking, I didn't expect that quick to score in the second half. Watch it now, go on. Uh, yeah, so but you can watch it now. Yeah, I can watch it now. No, I, I saw it before. That yeah. was a, a great cross from Molina. That was a spot it was a, yeah, a good finish by a player again. You know, another player who is going to only give a chance in this World Cup. He's been playing. Really good for Brighton this season and still an important yeah. player for the Argentine as well. So, uh, yeah, he, a I think he has Slightly fortuitous with the, the contact. It doesn't matter how they go in, does it, Alan? We, we said at half time, didn't we, that they'd got into that position down the right hand side, but it was just that final ball, whether, whether it was the cross in or the, the effort at goal, but the, it was a decent cross. I mean, it wasn't the best right he'll ever hit, but they got into that position again. This time it ends up in the, in the back of the net, and what a start to the second half for them. Yeah, great it was after that, it was just a matter of how many they were going to yeah. get because the way mm. Poland were yeah. playing, they're just inviting pressure yeah. on all the time. Exactly, well, it wasn't long before they got the, the second, was it? No, it was coming, they were probing, they were, they were, they were teasing this Polish team and by this stage. And um, you look at it here, they just speed the play up a little bit. They've done this for big, long periods in the game, but yeah, again, speed the play up here, the tempo raises. And it's a fantastic take and the finish from Alvarez. And we've seen him yeah. play little cameos for yeah. City this season. And you can tell immediately that this kid, he knows how He's to find the back of the net. He? he had a chance in the first half where he had a cute little run. That's great he saved it. But that finish there, the, the first touch, yeah. quick feet, left foot, and then bang right fit. This is a natural goal scorer, a young kid. Phenomenal. I think he's a really, really big talent. He's going to actually be a huge asset for Man City, yeah. not just Man City, but Argentina in this tournament. We, talk, we talked about Chesney. I mean, eager on that, not enough to stop it, but what a performance. In the, and yeah. what a performance in the tournament. I mean, well, he's, he's the, the reason that yeah. Poland are yes. in the knockout Absolutely stage. Absolutely right. I mean, it's with, with a, the penalty save, uh, one or two other saves, particularly in the second half when there was just relentless pressure from. Yeah. Uh, from Argentina. Uh, I mean, this this is a wonderful. It should never have been a penalty in the first place. No. But he guesses the right side. And not only that, but he has the the, the strength there to hit that to, to keep that out there. Brilliant. Yeah. If he doesn't what play a save with that right hand. If he doesn't play and perform the way he does today, Poland are out. Simple yeah. as. Yeah. Beautiful ball from Messi, and this was a, another vital save, wasn't it? But easy, easier that one. That we expect that one. But yeah. Messi didn't score, but I think it was another top-class yeah. performance from there. Mm. You know, 
that incredible fatness from Messi in those positions. It's remaining co concentrated, though. That's what top goalkeepers, the ones I who concentrate. I don't know whether we saw it, but uh, just after that, where there was about five or six minutes to go, there was a coach, actually, one of the trainers ran yeah. around to the to Chesney. I think we've got it. We've it. got it and we found it. Uh, we, uh, we spotted it down here. Let's have a little look, because um, I think he's going to say... Um, here he goes, a fella runs round. Oi, 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 oh, check. This is what I'm going to do. Don't let one in. Don't let one in. <laughs> there you go, that's all Five minutes that. left. Wait a bit of time. At the minute, we're in yeah. the tournament still. Yeah, he says it's all about... Don't, don't get a yellow card either. <laughs> Whatever you do. Yeah. Uh, extraordinary situation, It really. was, yeah. Uh, for, for, you know, it's kind of similar to... There was a bit four years ago when Poland were involved in, in a similar match, although I think Poland were already out. And it was Japan, and they had farcical last 20 minutes where neither try, side tried to score. Mm. So that, uh, so those, those Japan yeah. didn't, so they didn't go but through. But those situations, are, they're, they're, they're quite weird for you when you, as a player, you're all concentrated on the 90 minutes and you're not really sure at times. I've been in situations when you're asking yeah. around, are we, are we through or yeah. what's the score in the other game? And so um, think, it, you need people yeah. on the outside yeah. to be helping. Yeah. I think the communications now, with all the, the, mm. they're probably much more aware of what's going on elsewhere, right? Maybe um, 20 and 12. Yeah. I wasn't going to say, you know, can you get me off air, please? Get me <laughs> He's walked up the city like stuff with Aguero's goal. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Did you? He's out of order. Can you you got to go now, man. Aguero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a good point. Right, um, so, right. um, <laughs> let, let, let's talk Messi a bit. Let's have a look at his, um, his I mean, his second last performance in particular. So, exactly. yeah, it was... I mean, it's, it, it's the weight of his passing and his, his, his involvement in the game. It's a joy to watch from here. It's a treat, wasn't it? He didn't. He didn't produce the goal that no. uh, that, that we wanted. No. But uh, yeah, you're right. Some of the yeah, some of his passes. Yeah. Although that was a bit embarrassing uh, for yeah. him. He was laughing at that. He's a, he's obviously. I mean, we've seen his ability yeah. to run with the ball. I mean, he he's definitely not as quick as he was. No, definitely but not. Having said that, everything and still every player looks to to him to drag them through matches, and, yeah. and he's still capable of of that. Do you know what? He, he wasn't even at his best today. Yeah. But he, the, the best three or four dribbles in the game was yeah. Messi, yeah. and the best yes. three or four passes yes. in the game was Messi. And that's why he and gives the best you. Of pitch yeah. was Messi. Yeah. He played. He plays a different kind of sport, I think, to to mm. most mere mortals. Um, He's an alien. Yeah. yeah look, He's different. <laughs> no one like him. Yeah. yeah. And you know when you watch him live, this is I, the one. You, you, yeah. Oh, uh, you spend time watching him sometimes, and he, 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 the ball's everywhere, and you just. Focus on him, and you look yeah. like you look, you look so disinterested sometimes, yeah. and then all of a sudden, bang, so it's lights like, the game yeah. up. And, the, and it's the weight of the pass, isn't it, as yeah. well? You just, but, you, I mean, when I was playing with Messi, I was as a right back, he always scores at the inside position, so the left back just he has have to make that run because the, the ball will go there. And we, we I seen many times the first time on Acuna and then on Tagliafico, you know, he got that pass. That you just need to make the run in behind, simple as that. Well, he's, he's through to the next round, and of, of, of course, uh, his next match will be Australia, and that will be his 1,000th game. <laughs> what a draw, though. That's a lot of football. He's played a few games, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, it's crazy uh, yeah. the amount of games. But uh, the amount of games yeah. at that level, that's the, okay. that's the yeah. game changer. Yeah, well, we've showed you a glimpse of it already, but let's show you what happened uh, in the other Group C match between uh, Saudi Arabia and Mexico. Uh, I don't think so. Hopefully we can score a few goals and then capitalise more our chances. Mm. Um, but I think Argentina, it, it'd been OK, but I think they have to move the, the ball out a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, you know, when they, they've been dominating possession and all that, but I think with the, we have players to, to play so much better to find Messi around the 18-yard box, a few combination, and that's the only way to score. You know, what, what we saw from Poland in the first two <coughs> games, they were too defensive. They, they just keep that defensive shape very compact and it's very difficult to break down. I mean, Argentina have been very dominant and you know, yeah. Poland haven't offered anything at all. Um, but... It's, a ner it's going to be a nervous second half, but yeah. most of the games have been like this. Funny yeah, I mean, half. Argentina have had most of the possession, created the chances, but still been very sloppy. I mean, Poland yeah, have yeah. offered nothing, no support yeah. up to Lewandowski. All they've done is, is, is kick and hope, really, in the hope that he'll hold it up, someone might run off him, and they've, they've given nothing. Um, but I, I haven't that been in, that impressed with Argentina yeah. either. They've been so sloppy. Yes, they've created chances, but I still, yeah, mm. there's, there's work to be done there, yeah. definitely. Hope for something better in the second half, yeah. 
We'd like to think so, but we've been to a few games where yeah. we've been sitting here saying exactly this in the first half, and yeah. then all of a sudden, after a team talk, yeah. they let the guys wake up and come out and blow us away of uh, yeah. goals and performances. So we're, yeah. we're hoping for a little bit of that today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, Messi missed a penalty, but let's have a look at the decision first, because none of us thought it was a, here. We're just thinking, nah, they can't give that. Then he goes to the monitor, you think he's going to give it, and then yeah. they did give it. I mean, it's, it's a disgraceful decision, Gary. I mean, it's, it's not a clear and obvious error, that's for no, sure. This isn't what Bart's been brought in for. He's, 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 he's flicked his eyelash yeah. to stars. And the fact he's going over to look at it is, I think it's a, a, an outrageous decision that's been made here. Look, barely it's touches never, him. never, ever a penalty. I mean, can you, can you remember when they brought yeah. VAR and they said to us, it's just to clear up the clear and obvious, and it's, they're not going to re-referee the games. And we keep saying that. I mean, that's never a pen. No. I mean, you've got, you got four guys here who think, who think yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. Four guys that play football. Yeah. Ridiculous. Good point. Um, Penalty, uh, fantastic save. I mean, yeah, obviously, I, I it's not it's credit to Sinesco because it's, he was a great save. Yeah. Uh, he's been really good in this yeah. World Cup. He's a very good keeper for. for it's Poland. funny though, for, for, for all Messi's strengths, um, penalty is probably not the greatest uh, of his strength. He, he has missed quite a few, and he scored a hell of a lot. Yeah. But he has missed. Chesney's probably one of the best penalty takers mm. in the world at the penalty moment. He's got, saves, he's got a, yeah. Got, yeah, he's got a goalkeeper, a coach yeah. who's been. They've well, been analysing penalty takers. Polish takes. goalkeepers, actually. They've saved four of the last six penalties mm. uh, they've faced mm. at the World Cup. Two from uh, Jan Tomaszewski, remember him, in 1974? No, you weren't no. probably born. And I um, two, I wasn't from, born. Two, from, <laughs> two from Chesney at this tournament. Uh, he saved, actually, a third of the penalties he's faced for Juventus as well. Mm. So, five from 14. So yeah, a really good save. He is the man. Um, elsewhere, um, you felt like Argentina are getting a bit of joy... Well, both flanks, really, both sides Poland really, in, playing narrow, in, but particularly down the right. In, in particular, down the right hand side. Yes, they've had one or two good moments also down the down the left. But I just think that the, the lack of tracking from uh, from Poland down that side, and if they're cute enough and clever enough, then they'll be able to get in and do more of that because the timing of the runs um, have worked. But it, their final ball, really, and their final pass or effort is. is has just stopped them, but that's that's it there. Look, there, there seems to be a reluctance from from Poland to go with uh, to go with runners, but that's a very good position to be in again. And when I say Argentina have been sloppy at times, that's what I mean because they've wo they, they work it well in there, but then it should be a little bit uh, a little bit better with that final ball there again. That's a pro finish, but that's that for me. That's been a constant, not a bad strike either. They work it well down there. Mm. It's a wonderful strike though, wasn't it? Just wide. Uh, Messi, I suppose, in this case, not really had uh, uh, opportunities other than the penalty, of course, which is, is, is a really good opportunity. But, you know, he's the one man that looks like he might create something. He's hit some lovely little passes. Yeah, but many times we have to see Messi come in there to get the ball and, yeah. and to go from there. And, and we need to make sure that with, with Di Maria and, and with Enzo, especially in that midfield, we need to bring the ball uh, into Messi in a better position. We need to find him outside or around yeah. it of uh, the 18 yard box I was probably before the game you know he's where Messi will create some uh, damage is where Messi is the real threat uh, but if he comes too deep then of course uh, we will leave uh, Julian Alvarez uh, alone yeah. front which is not good it's crazy when you see the uh, yeah. when you hear live you can see the panic in the stadium yeah. the expectation from the fans but on the pitch there's panic in the Polish team as soon as he gets the ball. This was similar to the goal he scored yeah. the other day where he received the ball, but he, he sees the situation, takes it into a different area. Chesney makes a decent save at the front post. Yeah. But if anything to happen, it's going to come through Messi. Mm. Di Maria as well, I think, has been probing. But I agree with the guys. Just They've got to fix up on the last part of this to, to really unlock the door. There's such a reliance on him. Yeah. In this team, I mean, it's a terrible header. You, you look around and you think, okay, where where else can it come from? Yeah. I don't see too many other areas yeah. that that no. they're, they're capable of doing no. that other than other than him. Um, well, it's been tough for Messi to find his teammates, but it's been even tougher for Lewandowski. Oh. He seems so isolated, really. Oh. <laughs> Imagine being him coming oh, from a team where he has most of the ball, where there are players around him. He's so isolated, left on his own. He must be sitting there thinking, please, someone get near me. Look at the distance between him yeah. and his teammates as the ball gets up to him. 30 odd yards before anyone's even can see him. And, it, and it, he has to hold the ball for probably like two, three, four seconds before he's even got a chance of being able to bring anyone into play. I think he could have done better at times in holding the ball, but it's a lot to ask of one player on the pitch to be able to hold the ball. Look at that. Three players running towards him in, in blue shirts. The other player's 30 odd yards away from him again. Look, hunting impacts as well. 
taking the ball off of him. I mean, you guys play that front. That must be so disheartening if you've ever played in a, in, in a team oh, like yeah. that. Yeah. It's, all, it's almost an impossible role he's, he's playing there because he has to hold on to the ball for so long that by the time it goes to him, it's impossible because there's going to be two or three Argentinian players in and around him to take the ball off him. Yeah. But they haven't conceded yet, so I suppose they'll be reasonably but at happy. At the minute, they're dead, dead top of exactly. the group. I, think, yeah. I mean, 